Whether you prefer it shaken or on the rocks, there was something to stir any fan of spirits at the HKTDC Hong Kong International Wine and Spirits Fair. A highlight at the 2014 edition, the Whiskey and Brandy Bar showcased distilleries from around the world, including Akashi Whiskey from Japan, which featured its umeshu or plum wine blended whiskey. In Japan, there is a really rich food culture. Uh, umeshu is kind of like one of the really traditional type of alcoholic beverage. And Akashi Distillery is trying to create some unique product to introduce in the market. That's why they are trying to mix the umeshu with whiskey, brandy and other hot liquor. When you drink it, the plum flavour will on the palate with a whiskey finishing. Blending another kind of fruit with herbs was also a winning formula for Spain's Gin Mare, which took the silver medal in the spirits category at this year's Hong Kong International Wine and Spirit Competition. One very special ingredient is the Arbequin olives, which are just produced in a special part of Spain. This is what makes this gin quite different from all the rest. More than a thousand exhibitors from 38 countries and regions took part in the fair's 7th edition, with first-time exhibitors from Belarus and Macedonia. Old and New World wines were equally represented, including this award-winning boutique winery from Australia. We're now rated as a five-star James Holiday winery in, in, in Australia, and some of those wines here are examples of those five-star awards. We were rated as the top rosé in Australia by James Halliday with a rating of 96 points. Bone dry, it's crisp, it's light, it's delicate. Rosé is highly adaptable to the Chinese cuisine. An annual highlight, the Wine Industry Conference brought together experts who offered insights into the latest global trends and growth markets, particularly the Chinese mainland. And as a wine duty-free port, Hong Kong is the gateway to the mainland and the wider Asian market. We thought that Hong Kong is a very suitable place and therefore we are here again. Hong Kong is deemed to be the centre of the Asian wine trade and we had people visit our stand last year from Japan, from Taiwan, from obviously mainland, mainland China, from Singapore, Indonesia. I think it's certainly the right place to penetrate the market.